Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Monday, Monday morning, and I thought I would start this week off with a nice, simple, inexpensive makeup look. And I kind of went a little bit further than I wanted to with the eyes, only because I wanted to kind of, us to kind of experiment together. And that's really how I do my makeup. Sometimes when you guys ask me to recreate a look, it makes me nervous because I might not remember exactly what I used. I kind of just keep on going until I like it. And sometimes, like today, I took it maybe a little bit further than I wanted to, but that's just part of having fun with it to me. So um, I know I'm going to use a lot of Revlon products. A lot of those products that I used the other day in my Walmart tutorial, I've just been loving them. I mean, this primer and foundation and powder are amazing amazing and when I go to take my makeup off at night it is still so on there that I have to take those Costco wipes and I've been using two of them before I wash my face because my makeup is just on my face and I love that so stay tuned and I will be right back with the tutorial okay so let's get started and John is in his study he's doing a few things before he goes to work but I need to go ahead and get started so I may have to stop and let him go by. But um, I'm gonna put my hair back. Brooke just went to work. And I keep meaning to say this, just to explain some things that you may see. For one, I, in my videos, it's so much darker around my eyes than it seems in real life. See how when I go down and come up, I think a lot of it is a shadow but there is darkness like on my eyelids and stuff and that I believe is from using the Grande Lash. But it covers right up. Just, I mean, I don't do anything extra to cover it up and my lashes are so good. I think what it does is maybe it brings more blood flow or something, I'm not sure, I'm just guessing. Okay, another thing I get asked is about uh, the discoloration on my lips and if that is where I got lip filler or something and it is not it's just the way my lips are it could be because i was in the sun so much you know all my life and i do remember getting my lips burnt a lot um, especially because i used to go in the water a lot and it's easy to get your lips burnt when you swim a lot and um so that is not from that that is just discoloration you can look at my way past videos and see that and then this little thing right here i think a lot of people I don't know what they're guessing that is, but that is actually where when I was little, I was playing like on an empty field. We used to play outside all the time. And my mom had told me there was like a motorcycle, um, dirt bike track on that field. And my mom had told me not to be over there when they were riding motorcycles. And one day we were over there playing. We used to climb on this tree and all of a sudden the motorcycle guys were there. And I don't know if I was scared or embarrassed or what it was, because I was always, when I was little, being embarrassed and letting that keep me from doing things. But, um, so we were playing on that tree and the motorcycles were going round and round. And I looked over and saw my mom come out on the porch and I instantly freaked and went to run home and ran right out in front of a green Kawasaki. <laughs> and I got hit right here, I guess by the handlebars or something, my legs. Luckily, I had long pants on and my legs just kind of had like that, like burn kind of on them. And I had a, like a bruise, almost like a black eye. And from then on, I've had that little dimply spot right there. So that's what that is. Just because people ask me all the time. So I'm sure in the intro, I told you I'm gonna use just some of the stuff that I've been using. And a lot of it is from the um, Walmart video and one of those oh goodness the most important and best thing is the primer that Revlon primer I'll be right back and it's the um, I'll put everything down below I don't want to take too long but I use just about that much I just pour it out on my hand I'm going to use that new brush I've been using this from um, BK Beauty and just going in the primer and kind of spread it out starting first with your t-zone or wherever you're most concerned. I usually like to get around my mouth a lot and my nose because that's where I'm gonna wear it off just from eating and blowing my nose and all of that stuff. Then I've been using about two pumps. Now, maybe one and a half. 
And this color is, oh, it's, I love the tone of this so much. It is so neutral. It's 330 natural tan, but it's a little bit dark. So I've been, I want to go, I need to go to Walmart today to pick up some stuff. And I want to see if I can, the thing is, if I go down, I'm scared I'm gonna lose that tone. So what I've been doing is just using this and then kind of adjusting it if I need to with the concealer and I'll show you. I love this brush. Go over your eyes. We're gonna do a real simple eye makeup look, but I still want you to go over your eyes with the foundation. I'll explain why later. Okay, so you see what good coverage that is, and it is not heavy looking at all. If I were to have used two full pumps, I might have had just a little too much, but this is perfect. Okay, so both of these I really like. These um, concealers. One is much lighter than this one, so, but I still want to use this one. It's the Revlon Color Stay, and just show you how good it works. So I'm going to put it right here, and I haven't done this whole thing like this in a while. I've been doing it at the end, but since this foundation is a little light, I can do this. I'm going to use the other brush that Lisa just sent me from BK Beauty. It's 106. And I'm going to kind of blend this like this, kind of out. Just kind of blend it right into the foundation. and blend it just as good as I can. See, that gives me a little bit of brightness in the middle because if the foundation is too dark, it just, it doesn't look good. I would rather start out a little bit lighter. And I might end up getting the medium in this powder too, but I love this so much. I'm actually kind of scared. I don't want to mess up a good thing, but I might just try it. Okay, this is the BK Beauty. Uh, 104. I'm gonna just, like I said, start where you want it darkest. And then use what's left to kind of Set the rest of it like that oh and i brought this out here because if you saw my pr unboxing yesterday i unboxed the colleen rothschild and when i was putting everything away and this morning getting ready i noticed these two things on that little key thing that she has to get all of your product look at that with her name in there and then on this tray, I hope you can see, let me put there, look how that, her Colleen Rothschild Beauty is put in here. So you can like put your beauty products on your shelf. She is just top notch. I just love the details. And I always think if someone's going to put so much detail and thought into something like this, then that has to reflect on their products too. So I just wanted to show you that. And then I'm going to as I use these, load them onto this tray. Okay, I'm gonna go in. Let's do, let's do bronzer before I do blush. Okay, I have tried so many drugstore bronzers. I cannot find one that I really like. I always come back to this one, which is just the NYX um, Fair Face Sculpting Palette. And I'm gonna use hmm, what brush do I want to use? I like this to be pretty right in, right here. I don't want it spread out too much. So I'm gonna use this Sonia G um, Soft Cheek Brush. I'm gonna get some of this, put it right there to create 
create that shape. And just use this wherever your face needs the contouring. Doesn't necessarily, you don't might, you might not need your jawline <laughs> done, but I do. Or your big forehead. Okay. And I really like this, the highlight part too. It's matte. Might use it under there. A little bit under the eyes. And then a little bit up here. Just gives dimension. And then I don't think I need any highlight because I'm going to use this CoverGirl. You need to go through, baby? I will. Let me just check the thing one more time. Okay. So I can't finish and okay. then I'll leave. Okay. This is the CoverGirl Classic color blush soft mink i have been loving this so i'm going to use that same brush do the whole cheek like that and see how you can see it adds that highlight your jacket is in the kitchen baby Where's that? i know i got it out of the way it's in the kitchen oh. Hi. <laughs> are you leaving right now yes i am okay and then I'm going to do the other side. Like that. And that just gives a good sunny glow. And if you feel like you need the setting spray, I really do love that Olay setting spray just as much as anything. If you, It might not be enough if you're using a okay. lot of powder products. Bye, darling. I love you, too. I'll call you later. Um, like if I'm, if I was using all mineral powder or something, I may have to stick with the Fix Plus because that one just really just gets the powders and brings them in together. But if you're just basically wanting a little setting spray, I really love that Olay. Okay, so that's basically a good everyday look, I think. And I did not like the, um, the NYX brow as much as I do this Anastasia. I mean, I like it, but I like the darker a little bit better. So I'm going to use the Anastasia Ash Brown to do my brows with this Lee Swatier brush. And I just do it in the lighter side and come out just a little bit, carry it up to that little peak there, and then kind of meet it over here. And then just use the rest like that. And I'm gonna do the other side. I'm going to use just the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Just to set them in place. Okay, now I've been debating on two different eye looks to do. I wanted to do just an everyday, easy look. And the other day, it was the day that we went to Chuck E. Cheese for John and Will to play video games. Will actually met a friend there. They, that's just a place they like to go and play video games. And then Brooke and I went to H&M that night. And I loved my makeup that day. And I had put it on real quick and it was real simple. And I used a combination of these two palettes. So I could do that or I could just use this. So I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I think I'm going to just use this just because that'll be one product. And that's why I said to carry your foundation over your eyes because that is gonna get a, give a little bit of slip. If your eye was dry or just, um, I don't know, I just like the way cream shadows go on if you have just a little bit of slip on your eye. And last time I used this, I used it with the brush that comes on top. But today I think I'm just gonna use my finger and start up at the crease just use your finger just like you were using your brush and then make sure you're looking straight ahead in the um, mirror and then I'm gonna hold my eye and I'm gonna do it just like I was using a brush right there on my eye like that and then I'm gonna just use what's left to kind of go over the rest and up into my crease. I'm not really trying to get a solid 
look. I'm just trying to get kind of a worn in shadow look. I don't know if I'm going to be, it's not, I can say it's not uh, blending in like a MAC paint pot would. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to go on the outer and then kind of blend into my crease. You have to excuse my nails. They are um, trying to heal. Do not let anyone tell you that the powder nails will not harm your nails because they will, just like anything. I mean, I didn't really expect them not to. I'm gonna take this Q-tip and kind of blend out up here. Um, but they are very fragile and they keep, as soon as they grow out, they start chipping. So I'm having to keep them cut real short and they're, the nail polish chips real easy and I didn't have enough time, but I noticed it before I started filming and didn't have enough time. So um, I don't really, like the way they look. Okay, I'm gonna take this Q-tip and run it along the lash line. Like this. Okay, so that for me is enough shadow. If it's not enough for you, you could keep on going. Um, or let's see, let's look in here. Some of these shimmery shades, it could just go over it. Um, Let's do, I brought this out here too, because I really do like this, but I'm scared that's gonna mess my everyday look up. Let's do maybe this um, rosy shimmery shade from this e.l.f. palette that I showed you the other day. Let's, let's see what happens if we kind of go over like that. I think I preferred it without it. But I had to see. Okay, and then let's go ahead and this shade right here is just, it is like the most amazing inner corner. Put it right there, right there. And right there. Okay, that's not too bad. It's just a little bit darker than I wanted it to be. Okay, let's take this just cream shade here and go over this whole brow bone. Okay, very good. I'm not gonna do the whole L'Oreal gel liner and smudge it out and everything. I'm just gonna use my brown liner and do a simple wing or a simple wing for me. Okay, and this is the Benefit uh, Roller Liner in brown. I love it. Okay, so first we're just gonna put a simple line across like that. And then I'm going to lay this down And then drag it over and then fill this in like that. Okay, before we go any further, I wanted to do two lips. <laughs> I wanted to do two lips today. And so I brought out two of my favorite inexpensive uh, lip liners. One of them is NYX Sandstorm and the other is Milani Spice. I want to end with my Shining Peach, which is one of my all time faves. I wouldn't care how much this cost, I would keep buying it. And then I wanted to also try on this, that lipstick that I showed you yesterday in my 
PR unboxing, and this is Baroness is the color. And so I am going to, let's see what color I want to do with this. I think I'm going to do the sandstorm with this. I just wanted to show it to you. So. Line my lips. And this is going to be more of a neutral brownie color. It's not warm. I'll be honest with you, this particular one that I just bought the other day does not seem as smooth as the other ones did. It may just be cold. Okay, so that's just a light liner it gives like that shadow and let's try this color on it just looks so pretty these have the diamond like little sparkles in there oh that is pretty oh that is so pretty and then you could always put some i'm sure i've got but some celeste around here somewhere let's put a little bit of this this is Bear Sparkle from Bobby Brown. Just to give it a little bit of sparkle. Okay, now let's go on with mascara. And I brought some lashes out here to use, but I think I'm gonna go with just mascara. Because this is such a good mascara. Here's Where's my mirror here? It gets, there's something about the shape of this wand that lets you get all the way to the root of your lashes. And because I'm using the Grande Lash, I have pretty decent lashes now. So do that one side and then go to the other and then let that one dry, and then you can come back and it will build a little bit better. Okay, so that's one coat, and then I'm gonna go in and do another. Okay, go ahead and take my hair down now so I can assess, and I've just got rained on hair. I just, I've been using the brush from that Dyson Airflow, what is that thing? Dyson Air, I can't remember the name of it now, but you know what I mean, the Air Styler, whatever it is. And I love it. I mean, it's definitely not as smooth, but sometimes you just like your natural texture to come through a little bit. I just don't like stick straight hair, but I've gotten rained on a lot and it's still rainy, so I didn't want to fix it today. So I'm looking to see what I would want to do. Anything else? Do I need any more? I'm not gonna put any more brightness underneath my eyes. I think this is pretty good. I didn't put anything underneath but if you want to, you could. And so now I want to show you my other favorite lip combination, even though I love this so much. Let me take a picture of this with my phone. Oh, John's got my phone updating. Okay, I'll just have to do a screen grab of this. And I'm just going to wipe it off. I'm telling you, this is how you get the best lip combos anyway, is you have to pile them on. Okay, this is the Milani Spice Lip Liner. I sharpened it, and this one is gonna be much warmer. Shining Peach. And you see it looks kind of like too white or whatever at first, but by the time you put it on and blend it, you will love it. Okay, you may want to just blot it just a little bit to take off the excess. but that's gonna give you more of that big, just, you know, full look. And I think that's it. So I'm gonna do a quick outfit of the day and then I'll let you go.
And so here, let me show you this first because I feel like I scored with this. This little top, you guys know how much I love these really fitted layering tops, is from Walmart. And I was just going through there the other day and looking at all the different tops and found it. I love it. And then the leggings today are the Spanx Moto leggings that I was showing you that I got right before I went on my trip. And I love the look of this with the Converse. And just a good, you know, like I always say, get your layering pieces and then have fun with your shoes, your coat, and your bag. So the other night when Brooke and I were in H&M, I saw this and it's like a faux suede trench and I just tied the belt around the back and it's not lined it's just like really you know um, raw edge and it doesn't really have it has like that oh, I forget the name of that collar not is it Mandarin collar and so I am going to leave it I love the flowy and the sloppiness of it. I'm just gonna leave it open. And another thing that's good about these Spanx leggings, see how they don't have a seam going right up the middle? So they give you just a little bit, it's just a little bit easier to wear them with a shirt that doesn't cover everything up. But the jacket is, you know, really helps. And I keep thinking I want to move to another bag, but every day this just goes so well. So this will be my bag today. And it's the medium Fendi Peekaboo with the canvas strap. Okay, and something I noticed when I went to take pictures is my face is still a lot darker than my neck. You guys probably noticed that when I was doing it. So what I'm gonna do now is take some of this powder, the medium deep, and run it down my neck some. And today, when I go to Walmart, I'm gonna try the next shade down. And, cause I just love that so much that so maybe even if I get to mix it or something, it will stay, still set, stay the same tone. Okay, my rings today are the ones from Miranda Fry. And nail polish is still Chanel Pirate. And anything else I want to tell you? Yep, there is. I knew there was one more thing. I grabbed these socks the other night at H&M and I love them. I know I said I wanted no show and I think what I should have said and should have thought in my head is I want low show. <laughs> I don't, I still want, I like the look of your skin still showing between the shoe and the legging, but the no-show, it did not matter what brand I tried, those wool ones, whatever ones, they were still slipping down in my shoe and there wasn't enough coming up to go underneath the shoelaces. So I see why people like those if you're wearing like a loafer or something, but I think this is more what I wanted. So I grabbed this big old thing of socks for $9.99 the other night at H&M. So I wanted to show you those. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Don't, I've got some Christmas, I've been making my list for Christmas um, recommendations and favorites, latest favorites. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm doing that giveaway and I'm gonna do many more giveaways. John and I were just talking about this morning how we have we might do some giveaways with maybe some Louise Young brush sets and different things like that. And thank you again for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.